In the previous video, we saw uh, how to represent uh, simultaneous linear equations in a matrix form. In this video, we'll see one method to solve that system of linear equations uh, using um, matrices. That method is uh, that of uh, inversion. It, it, it basically uses the inverse of a uh, matrix. And you can you can uh, guess uh, uh, that uh, we are uh, we will be able to find the inverse of this matrix because because this is a square matrix. Uh, it's it's a three by three matrix in this case. And uh, if, uh, what, what, what happens, uh, first of all, we'll realize that uh, its inverse will exist. Uh, you, you can check that its inverse exists, uh, realizing the fact that uh, its determinant is uh, non-zero. Yes, you can say that. In fact, its determinant will come out to be minus one. Take, consider, consider this as an exercise. So, but what, once we have that out of the way, uh, we know for sure that its inverse exists. What we can do is we can multiply both of these sides from the left uh, with uh, a inverse. So what happens is uh, I multiply this a x with uh, a inverse on the left hand side and of course if I am doing this on the left hand side I have to do it on this side also. So I multiply this with uh, a inverse as well and then you will realize that uh, here uh, by associativity I can say that this is as good as uh, a inverse a times x and which is equal to a inverse b and uh, yeah we know that the major property of inverse is that if you multiply it uh, from either of the sides to your original matrix you get the identity matrix back so 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 this uh, sim simplifies to just the identity matrix and uh, also we know that uh, identity matrix when you multiply it with uh, any matrix you just get that uh, same matrix back so this this will give you just the x back and remember what x was, x was our variable matrix, it, it consisted of these variables x, y, z. So, so we have uh, actually solved for uh, our variable matrix. It is, it is the variable matrix is nothing but uh, the inverse matrix of your coefficient matrix multiplied by this, this b matrix or the RHS value. So, and I'll, I'll, okay, you can also consider this as an exercise to show that uh, a inverse is, uh, is this, this matrix. It is, uh, negative 1, negative 3, 0, 0, minus 1, minus 1, negative 1, negative 3, minus 1. Consider, consider this as an exercise, this is kind of a refresher for inversion of a matrix. So, so what you can do is you can simply plug it in here. So I can plug it in here saying that this is the uh, A inverse matrix, minus 3, 0. 0, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 3, minus 1 and uh, and, and I know what a B matrix is, it's nothing but the RHS value, so it is nothing but uh, the, these entries 17, 5, minus 19. So this, this is just matrix multiplication, uh, again, so this, this is a 3 by 3 matrix, this is a 3 by 1 matrix, the multiplication is uh, valid the final result will be again a 3 by 1 matrix which is which is consistent with what I have on the left hand side this was also a 3 by 1 matrix right so I, I was expecting to get a 3 by 1 matrix here which is good so so if, if you do the matrix multiplication again a kind of a refresher uh, the final values that you will get uh, is uh, the final value you get for the first entry is negative 32 the second entry will come out to be 14 and the third entry will come out to be negative 13 so yeah, yeah, in fact, uh, pause the video right now and uh, check whether you actually get these values, uh, kind of an exercise for matrix multiplication. So, so assuming you have got these values, uh, what, what we can say now is that these values are nothing but your uh, variables x, y, z. So you have actually solved for the variables x, y, z. Because remember what equality of two matrices means. When I am saying that these two matrices are equal, what I am saying is that the entries match. So I am saying that x is equal to minus 32, y is equal to 14, z is equal to negative 13. So yeah, we have found the values of the variables x, y and z and so we have a solution for our system of linear equations. So, so there are, uh, this, this is one way of uh, finding the solution of linear equations, a system of linear equations. We'll uh, see the next method in the next video.